Hello, my name is Paul DeWinner with AEA Technology, and today we're going to be talking about the BIA Echo. There are several models of it. It's a network analyzer, handheld, goes from 4 megahertz to 2.5 gigahertz. And we're going to cover uh, the different features of it in these segments, so you can choose which segment you wish to uh, view. In this segment, we're going to talk about AEA Technology's Echo 2500 instrument uh, and the network analyzer portion of it or the vector impedance analyzer. To do this test, we'll be using a uh, 847 megahertz antenna with its ground plane and an armored coaxial cable through an SMA adapter uh, to the input of the echo. And how you set up for this measurement will involve pressing the F3 button. The very first item in the F3 menu is the instrument mode and it should say VIA, or Vector Impedance Analyzer. You can now use the remaining segments here to set up the frequency, uh, set up the bandwidth you wish to test, and to select which two of the six measurements that the uh, VIA will do on the S11 port uh, to appear on the LCD display. It, being a full network analyzer, it can give you SWR, return loss, impedance, phase angle, reactance, resistance, gamma magnitude and gamma angle. In this case, I'm going to select the uh, total impedance measurement to appear on the left plot, and I'm going to have the uh, impedance angle appear on the right plot. When I press enter, the plot will come up, and you'll notice that the impedance is set from 0 to 100 ohms, and that the impedance angle starts at 0 in the center, goes down to minus 90 and up to plus 90. There are two plot lines. A smooth plot line indicates the reading from the uh, left or the total Z, and the hash plot line is the Z angle. Where the Z angle crosses zero, which is right in the center now, uh, that's where the antenna is tuned to. The impedance is reading low on this because we have not nulled out the cable and because the antenna itself reads lower than it should. If I reach around and touch the antenna, without even touching it, just putting my hands around the antenna, it seriously disrupts the pattern for that frequency. And then you can see it return to normal when I remove my hands. A third reading can also be selected to appear digitally without a plot, and that's a third reading uh, can be any of the six measurements from the S11 port.